Hello Year 12. Hopefully this starter serves as a good reminder of the main points to remember for triangular measures. First of all, a non-right angle triangle is called a scalene triangle. The first stage of working out you need to show is the substitution. The second stage of working to show is the rearrangement. The third and final stage is the evaluation. If you have a right angle triangle, you should use Sokotoa. An angle of half pi radians is more commonly known as a right angle. The clue that you should be using a using the sine rule is that you have opposite angle and side pairs. The clue that you should be using the cosine rule is that you have an included angle between two known sides. And don't forget to show your units. There's going to be a series of questions in the pack in front of you. You'll have three minutes to answer each question and then I'll go through them. Get ready for the first question. In question one, we can see that we've got an angle opposite a side and another angle opposite another side. This means that we're using the sine rule. Since we're looking for the angle, we'll have sine of the angle on top, and that's sine of y. On the bottom, we'll have the opposite length of 46. And this will be equal to sine of the other angle, sine of 63, with its opposite length of 54 underneath. The next thing we need to do is rearrange. There are two steps to this. The first step is that I wish to multiply both sides by 46. The left will no longer be being divided by 46, and the right will be multiplied by 46. Specifically, I'll multiply the numerator, sine 63, by 46, and I'll get this. The next stage is to do inverse sine of both sides. Putting this into my calculator will give me 49.376, etc. The question doesn't specify how much to round to, so I will round to three significant figures, giving me 49.4 degrees, showing units, and stating my degree of accuracy. In question two, we can see that we've got a right angle, so we should be in no doubt that we are doing a soccer tour question. Here is my right angle, so the ceiling is my hypotenuse. Adjacent is the chain, and opposite is the pipe. So I have the opposite, I do not have the hypotenuse, I have the adjacent, and I don't have the hypotenuse, I have the opposite, and I have the adjacent. Therefore, I am focusing on tan. Tan of the angle, 71 degrees, is equal to the opposite, 14.5 metres, divided by the adjacent, which is our unknown. I'll call that x, just for handling it in the algebra here. That's my substitution for my first mark. Rearranging is in two steps. Multiplying both sides by x, to get x tan 71 degrees equals 14.5. And then dividing both sides by tan 71 degrees, to get x equals 14.5 divided by tan 71 degrees. With my calculator, that gives me 4.99 to seven, etc. And this tells me that the chain 
is equal to 4.99 meters in length to three significant figures. It didn't specify how long to round, so I chose three significant figures and I stated my units. In question three, we see that we have an angle between two sides. It's the included angle. And that tells me that we will be using the sine rule. We will need to use this version. Since we are after a side X. Side we're after, we always label A, the other two, it doesn't really matter. And the angle is the angle opposite lowercase a is uppercase a. Substituting A is X, B is 740, and B is being squared, so, so is 740. Mm -hmm. C is 690, also being squared, minus 2 times 740 for B, times 690 or C times by the cosine of the angle 38 degrees and all of that is inside the square root. Putting all of that into a calculator in one go to avoid rounding error we get 467.95 etc and x therefore to three significant figures is 468 millimetres to three significant figures. It's important to note that some people inadvertently put pluses and they should be multiplying in this last part of the part of the uh, cosine rule. Just be careful with that. Although it doesn't say in the question, we all know that a wall is perpendicular to the floor. That's common sense. So since there's a right angle, we know we're dealing with Sokotoa. This side is the hypotenuse. It's opposite the right angle and it's the longest. The angle in question is at the top here between the wall and the ladder. That makes this the opposite, and the wall is therefore the adjacent next to the angle. We don't have the adjacent. We've got the opposite and the hypotenuse. That means we know we're using sine. Sine of the angle is equal to the opposite of 2.4 divided by the hypotenuse of 9.2. That's my substitution for the first mark. Rearranging, the angle is equal to the inverse sine of 2.4 over 9.2. With my calculator, I get 15.121, etc., which I round to 151 degrees, sorry, 15.1 uh, degrees for three significant figures. Over my own time there. Never mind. In question five, we're looking for this angle, and it's an included angle between two sides. Therefore, we know we're using the cosine rule. However, because we're looking for an angle, we need to use the version of the formula that is not provided, the version that we either have to memorize or rearrange for ourselves. If this is the angle we're looking for, I will call that A this lowercase a, and either of these can be b or c. The formula, which you've either rearranged earlier or remember, is the angle a is equal to the cosine, or rather the inverse cosine, of b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc. Substituting the angle is actually called theta in our case. Inverse cosine, B is 49, so 
square it, as the rule states. C is 23, again squared, and A is 37, again squared. 2 times 49 times 23, or 2BC. Putting all of that into our calculator, I get 46.167, etc. Rounding, I therefore get theta as equal to 46.2 degrees to three significant figures. In question six, we're asked to work out the horizontal distance that travels across the ground. The horizontal distance will start directly below the point directly underneath. Hence, this would be a right angle if it's directly below. Therefore, we're looking at Sokotoa. Here is our angle, this is our opposite. Here's the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent. We've got the hypotenuse, and we're asked about the adjacent. We do not have or care about the opposite. Therefore, we're looking at cosine. Cosine of the angle 15 degrees is equal to the adjacent, which is the ground, which I shall call x for the purposes of my calculations divided by the hypotenuse, which has a value of 85. This is quite a simple rearrangement. x is equal to 85 cos 15 degrees, which in the calculator I get as 82.103, etc., which means I can round it to 82.1 meters to three significant figures. In our final question, we have a side with an opposite angle and another side with an opposite angle. Therefore, we're using the sine rule. Since we're looking for a side, x, I will put that on top. x will be divided by the sine of its opposite angle. In this case, the opposite angle is 38 degrees. The result of that will be equal to the other side divided by its, or rather by the sine of its, opposite angle. It's actually quite a common error that people forget to put the sine in there. When I said it just now, I actually said the angle without mentioning the sine the first time before I correct myself. That's our substitution and our first mark. The rearrangement is relatively simple. I just bring the sine 38 degrees up to the numerator of the other side, giving me 17 sine 38 degrees all over sine of 117 degrees. Putting that into our calculators gives us 11.746, etc. And this means that x is equal to 11.7, and the units are centimeters, and we have rounded the three significant.